The triple deuce got me yesterday. Got me. Ultrasonic, supersonic, hypnotic, funky, fresh. Wow. Lost a heartbreaker yesterday. Last 45 seconds of the game. I dropped a top tier play. Drop, uh, last 45 seconds of extra time in the soccer match, you know? <laughs> Lost the top tier play, putting us at 12 and 3 on the top tier run in our last 15. Looking to get back in the green today. Penny here, ghostpicksats.com, the number one sports consultant in the business, Tuesday, February 23rd. Two, two, three. The triple deuce is gone. Two for Tuesday, $19.99. Some folks were upset with that top tier loss yesterday. Upset with me. You know, I, I, I get it. Oh, well, no, I don't get it. You know, same type people. They don't say anything to you when they win. Only when they lose. For, okay, we're going to break it down. Brighton Crystal Palace under two and a half goals. Okay. 1-1 one, one match. Five minutes added in extra time. Okay. And with 45 seconds left to go in extra time. That means we're four minutes and 15 seconds into extra time. Only 45 seconds left in the entire match. Crystal Palace snags a goal for the win. I mean, it was total disbelief. It was highly improbable. Unbelievable. It was a, a, an extraordinary finish to the game. Nobody thought it could happen. The announcers were saying, oh my God, I did not expect this to happen. Oh, I didn't think this could happen. So if you're hating on me on that one, child, please. Come on, man. Like the free play, I get it. Go hate on me on the free play. You know what I mean? Syracuse plus the points. Duke rocks Syracuse at home, 85 to 71. Hate on me for that one, not that top tier. Come on, baby. And, you know, I had a, like, I, that top tier was the difference, you know, because we'll, I'll say it in a second. I didn't, like, I, I had a complete ugly day because of that. Blazers got rocked. And uh, I won on New Orleans in college basketball. So I went one and two on my premium car. Dropped that top tier. And do you, honestly, do you see what the extraordinary goal did to us? Take a look. It was a difference between two and one top tier winner and one and two top tier loser. It was a tough beat. It was. The top tier run is now 12 and three in my last 15. 12 and three in my last 15 top tier plays. I got people hate. Also, by the way, but it's all good, baby. Much love from Benny to you, to everybody. I love everybody. I love everybody. Um, also, by the way, though, I have not lost back to back top tier plays since I started running top tier plays again. So take that for what you will. I'm ready to rock for today. Two for Tuesday, $19.99. Hey, if you're new to my page, welcome. Take a second out of your day. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Tap the bell right next to so you get my video as soon as they pop up. Follow me along over on Twitter as well at Benny Bistro. What we really need to do is is get on the board for free plays today. Top tier will be fine. Top tier week, 91 bucks. It's going to be a winner. Top tier week, 91 bucks. Get on board. Let's get a free play. 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, Toronto Raptors. <laughs> Philadelphia 76ers at the Toronto Raptors. Free play of the day, taking the 76ers on the money line. Free play of the day, Philadelphia 76ers money line. And for as bad as Philly has been on the road and for as reluctant I am to bet on Philadelphia right now, I'm not taking them to lose back-to-back -back games to the Toronto Raptors. Philly is a small favorite tonight. They literally just lost to the Raptors 110-103, to their last game that they played. These two teams just played each other. Raptors are definitely starting to play better ball. Raptors are kind of starting to play the way we've kind of been expecting them to play all season long. They did not start the year well at all. Now they're starting to play better. Uh, I think they won nine of their last 12 games, something like that. Siakam, been better. Van Fleet, been better. Seeing some other guys step up on the Raptors team. They're starting to step up. They're, I guess they're starting to feel comfortable, whatever. They're trying different rotations, whatever. We're seeing it happen. That's what an NBA season is. It's a long, drawn-out season. 
and you progress. Okay. And for Philly as a fan, it's like, <laughs> here we freaking go. I know it's a long season and all that. And I don't expect to see them at the top all year. You know, like crap happens. Crap happens throughout an NBA season. Ruts. Injuries. Little inconsistencies. Fatigue. These guys are human beings. Travel. They're professional human beings. So we don't make excuses or they don't make excuses. But they're human beings. People can get into ruts. I can get into a rut. Uh, the Notorious can get into a rut. My girlfriend can get into a rut. Ghost Picks Jimmy. Oh, uh, well, no. Ghost Picks Jimmy can't get into a rut. Absolutely not. Ghost Picks Jimmy will never get into a rut. He's the perfect human being. But anyway, uh, <laughs> all love, baby. Uh, so again, it's a long season. That's a funny joke, right? Um, we have been watching Philadelphia dip a little bit. The Nets are about to take that one spot. 76ers are now 2-5 and five their last seven. They're just dipping. And a lot of it has been due to the way they're playing on the road. And you look at tonight, they're playing on the road. Tonight. So, however, I just don't see them losing to the Toronto Raptors twice in a row. This is a get-back opportunity for Philly tonight. Lowry is questionable, by the way, which would probably make a difference whether he plays or whether he does not. And hey, this should be a good game. This is a possible down-to-the-wire game. And, and, and like Philly does not fare well in Toronto. So we know Philly doesn't fare well on the road. We've been seeing Philly in this little mini rut. Even though they're a very good team, they're a very good team. We've been seeing Toronto get better. And Philly doesn't play well in Toronto. They lose in Toronto. Uh, if you're looking at the trends, there's a one big one that stands out. Toronto is 5-0 and the last five home games against Philly, right? Like, so again, I get it. But I'm taking Philly. I'm not taking I'm, – I'm taking Philly in this back-to-back -back situation. That's what makes, makes this specific game unique. It's a back-to-back -back situation. They just played the rap uh, the other day. It's the last game they played. And they're going right back to rap. And we've been seeing that a lot with the COVID stuff, you know, when less travel, all that stuff. So free play of the day, Philadelphia 76ers money line. And uh, before I leave, I wanted to give a big shout out to the new guy, Ghost Picks Justin by a mile. You know, he's been doing super good. Ghost Picks Justin has been super good. He seems like a super cool dude. I welcome him to the team. Welcome Ghost Picks Justin to the team. I'm sure you've been seeing him a lot. He does all his videos on... Uh, Jimmy's page. He seems like a super cool dude. He seems like he's winning. I want to wish him the best here at Ghost Picks ATS. Like I do anybody who has worked here and gone. They People come, people go. You know, people come, people go. Benny's still here. So I hope Ghost Picks Justin stays too. You know, it's the place to be. So uh, I wish him the best here at Ghost Picks ATS. I hope he has a forever job right here, right here. With Jimmy and the Ben Dog and Jack and Bryce. Uh, and he's been winning. So two for Tuesday, $19.99. Let's get out there and get it. As always, good luck. God bless Grand Isle, baby. Cheers.